welcome you all to my channel english education for all today i am going to present before you the critical appreciation of the poem the good morrow written by john dunn a metaphysical poet before i start let me ask you a question to you all have you ever been a genuine lover are you a genuine lover or where are you I don't know actually the answer from your side. But let me explain love. It stages from the perspective of John Donne, from the perspective of the poem The Good Morrow by John Donne. The poet thinks love is like a dark night. Initially, love is like a love, love ki ki dhara hoche, an element of sex and fun, sex and fun, Thale it is the initial stage, Thale initially love is an element of sex and fun. It is like a dark night. Love is like a dark night. I am telling about the initial stage of love. So, it is like a dark night. The experience of which is not clear. But in the journey of love, Don appears, and then true things of nature, true nature of things, true nature of things or of love gets revealed. The poet thinks the poet and his beloved are now at dawn in their love journey. So, they have experienced the dark night of their love and now they are now waking up to the true spirit of love, to the true love, genuine love. So, dawn appears to their love journey. Got it? Tawle first experience of love, in case of first experience of love, what we see? We see physical joys. Physical joys of love. But in the second set of experience of love, so let me here it is a dark night and here it is dawn in the first phase of love physical joys of love and in the second stage there is spiritual love so they the lovers attain spiritual love through physical love. In the second stage, the lovers are no longer giving importance to physical joys. It is a part. In the second stage of love, physical joys are also a part. But it is never of much importance. Because they have attained spiritual love through physical joys of love, through physical love. And they have experienced the dark night of their love, but now they are at dawn. So, in the first experience of love, in the words of Wordsworth, we have animal pleasure. 
but in the second stage of love we have spiritual pleasure we have then mutual understanding we have then confidence between us us by the word us we mean the lovers mutual understanding confidence and the second stage of love provides us a complete world a complete world the second stage ki dekhte pacchi amra second stage provides us a complete world a world without fear without suspicion without decay not only that in the first stage we were not self complacent complacent amra atto paritripto chilam na we were looking at things beautiful আমরা চারিদিকে বিভিন্ন সৌন্দর্য সুন্দর জিনিসের প্রতি দেখছিলাম সো ইন দা ফার্স্ট স্টেজ অফ লাভ উই ওয়ার নট সেলফ কমপ্লাসেন্ট বাট ইন দা সেকেন্ড স্টেজ অফ লাভ উই আর সেলফ কমপ্লাসেন্ট উই ডোন্ট এট অল সি উই ডোন্ট এট অল লুক অ্যাট দা বিউটিফুল থিংস অ্যারাউন্ড আস বিকজ লাভ হ্যাজ brought completeness in the first phase of love we were not self complacent but in the second stage of love we are self complacent love is here self satisfying or you can say love is all pervading all absorbing or self complacent so thus the poet shows us that the poet and his beloved are now experiencing the second stage of love and dawn has come up to their love journey so the poem has been titled as the good morrow got it and here we will also see in the second stage of love coming in the second stage of love they discover their little room their little room little room ke bola hocche microcosm microcosm the microcosm becomes the macrocosm let me explain what is microcosm and what is macrocosm in the second stage of love they, they have their little room it is the little room choto bisho choto prithibi seita hocche microcosm but this little room becomes the macrocosm say bisal prithibi hoye uthche bujhte parecho ka ji in the second stage of love the lovers are self fulfilled self complacent the same idea we, we will also see in the poem the sun rising the sun has risen and it peeps but the poet says don't at all peep atas amader dike takhanor kono proyojon nei we the lovers can bring warmth amongst us amader moddhe amra nijederei ushnota amra ante pari so we have no need of you to sei san tomake amar proyojon nei tomar tomake amader dorkar nei here also the lover and his beloved are self complacent they are now explorers exploring each other they need not explore new land 
the lover is now exploring the beloved and the beloved is exploring the lover both emotionally and physically so they need not be explorer exploring new world new land but they are now exploring the other one so they are now complete thus the poem presents before us ideas about true love i think you have all got it the idea and in my second class i will discuss every stanza of the poem with minute detail so keep following and keep listening thank you